Today, we have a really hard day. We have to say goodbye to our dogs. The only option I can think of is finding a family for them or us not going. All right, guys. The time has come. What's up, Toa Squad? This is gonna be an emotional one. Oh, here comes mom. I have bad news. I don't wanna tell her. Hi. Um, I don't have great news, but I need you to help me because I would like it not to be bad news. Uh-oh. I can't find a way to bring the dogs. No. No, you can like ship them underneath in the plane and pet cargo. I did that I... when I was, we we brought Rusty from Hawaii. Yep, Rusty was a much bigger Doberman <coughs> than Shaw, but the same color, he was wonderful. He but flew from Hawaii. He did. To Utah when we moved. Yes, I can't find any airlines right now that still do that, so we need to do, I need you to help me research because I'm not finding it, and you and I think differently, we do things differently. I'm hoping if you look, you'll find something. So take an hour with me, we'll get back on here with you guys, but I wanted to start this process because I don't know how this is gonna go. So I got some official news, but I'm still hoping mom. It's so late at night now. <laughs> it's crazy. So, are you able to figure anything out? There are a few sites that um, have pet transport. Do you know why that's a thing now? I just learned that for COVID for in, in 2020, the airlines put a pet embargo, which means that they, all major airlines do not allow pets underneath the planes anymore as cargo. It says it might lift in the future, so, but there are, there are pet transport yep. companies. Yep. Um, but it's looking like eight to 9,000 one way. That's more than flying our entire family yeah. there. Well, come along for the journey. All right, welcome back. It's time for us to have a longer discussion about this. All right. You wanna start this or should I? We have some stuff to talk to you guys about for the move. Good stuff or bad stuff? It's not good stuff. More bad news? All right, you guys. Mom and I have been doing a lot of research the last couple days. Have you noticed we've been a little bit more intense and aggravated? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> we've been researching ways to get the dogs out to the UK. Right? Just like Rusty? I am so excited. I can't wait for them to come. In the field next to the house, I bet they're going to love jumping in the river. <laughs> yeah. Because of COVID, airlines don't let dogs ride underneath in the planes with you. If you want to bring a dog, it has to be a service animal that is legit. You can only send them if they go with other companies. Companies that are made to ship pets. I don't understand, what are you getting at? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, who would like to pay 16 to 18, 19 thousand dollars? No way. For both of them? That is a lot of money. I have been scouring all the internet for more than just days, for weeks I have been looking for any solution. I have contacted five, six companies, gotten quotes, and they literally private jet your animal. And that's why it's so expensive because we're going across the world. It is so expensive. So what are we gonna do with them? The only option I can think of is finding a family for them or us not going. I don't want to give our dogs away again. Me neither. We didn't have diesel for very long, right? No, we had it for like a year. Yeah, so that's why that time was a little bit easier because we saved Diesel from a bad situation. He was with us for a little bit, and then Diesel went to another family. 
But these dogs we had since puppies, huh? Can we like find somebody to watch them for like six months to nine months or something? You know what? Maybe we can do that and hopefully the airlines lift the embargo by then, <laughs> but it's not for sure. So we'll we'll look it up, try to figure it out. All right, you guys, come here real quick. I'm gonna need your help, okay? I found somebody for the dogs. Hi, Evie, good morning. So we need to get their beds, their food, all their stuff ready right now so we can go and take care of this and I'll tell you more along the way, okay? Where's the, where's the puppies? Hi, 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 hi. Oh, Fila, look at me. Hi. I'm gonna miss you, girlie. I'm gonna. Hopefully this family will love you. And they'll give you back. They, hopefully they will. Hopefully they will. You're so cute. Where's my Shasha? Come on, puppies. Fila, Shasha, come on. Time has come. Why are we at our cousin's house? Yeah, uh, yeah, Dad. I was able to get your cousins to be willing to take the dogs. Actually, really, really. Until either we come back, the embargo is lifted, or we find a different plan. Yes. yes. At least they're At least we got a plan. Now. That's good. Yeah. So that's that's like way good. Like we get to like they get to be with family that knows them. We know them. And we get to have them back. This isn't goodbye. Oh yeah. Yeah. this absolutely not goodbye. It's see you later for a Hasta while. Luego. But not goodbye. Yeah. Hasta luego. Yes. That's the best news ever. Look how excited they are. Vila! Shaw, you want to go? Oh, they're really excited. Okay. Okay. All right. I still think this might be a little emotional, but I think it's going to be way better. I still think there's going to be lots goodbye. of tears. True. But, because mom's already halfway there. That's your fault. You said it. Ah! Ah! Come on, let's go play with Nala. Come here. Say hi. I thought by now pain would be my friend I know that discomfort was a means to an end But I'm lying in one bed Girl, no, go to bed. Feel a place. Feel a bed. Place. Bed. Bed. No, we say bed, not place, because this is her bed. Nala. Bed. Good girl. Good girl. Shaw, come. Shaw, come. Go to bed. 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 Good boy.
Is that pretty hard, guys? Yeah. At least we know we're gonna come back. Yeah. We're coming back and we'll let you guys know any updates when we have updates. We're one step closer to our move. Mahalo. Mahalo.